I don't wanna, uh, you know, I don't wanna order any pizza. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, uh, no, yeah, no. I was just, uh, I was, gonna, I was calling to, uh, to check if you guys had any milk. No, I'm aware. Yeah. Well, you know, you never know. So I've, well, I understand that, man. But, well, there's no need to. Okay. Well. What? A lot of people take uh, milk for granted. You know that? You know, people, people assume that supermarkets have all the milk. You live on an island, let's say, and you've been banned from every supermarket on the island. And you have a, an unholy addiction to milk. What do you do then? Once ran into a, a Safeway. You guys have those? Grab the first uh, milk-esque jug I found. Ran out of there. Security guards weren't even chasing me. They didn't. I guess they didn't know. I mean, there's really very few places that you can. That was a that was a pizza place I was checking in. Figured cheese. Milk. Could be. Fine automobile here. Uh, had it for a couple months now. See here? Hit a bird. On the highway. Full speed. Full speed. No damage at all. Look at that. You see anything? You hear that? You good. You strong. You a tank. The guy? Anybody? Yeah. Get it. Get, get in there. Well, well, what had happened was, is they, uh, well, they knew me. They knew me because, uh, well, I'd be coming in, you know, five, six times a day looking for milk. <laughs> Well, it ran like milk and honey back then. <laughs> you know, I was forced to kind of, you know, shoplift the milk. You know, eventually one of these guys, one of these gorillas they got working in there, you know, for security, he comes up to me and he grabs me and he says, uh, yeah, get on, get on out, of, out of the store now there, little boy. And uh, <laughs> you best believe I tried to take a little bit of milk with me, you know, for the road, but <sighs> nice no, snatched it. This close. Yeah, no, I found him on uh, Craigslist. First couple times I tried to hire a child to get milk for me. Uh, you know, the police got involved. No, but we, we made a pretty good deal. He's in there getting me the milk now. It's taking a little bit long, but... You know, if this works out well, we'll, we'll consider doing a kind of like a weekly... Kind of a weekly deal, you know? A weekly negotiation, a weekly little, a little situation. Yeah. Yeah, so I hope it goes well. Yeah, this is good. This will work. Are you gonna take me home now or sorry? Should I just get it? Let's go. Yeah, to get rid of that kid. We had to. He was uh He was a liability. Okay. You know what that is? You understand that? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. This is where I come to drink the milk. Helps me think, you know, of my next plan for milk. First thing I gotta do is pour half out for the milk that I wasn't able to get. I go through a lot to get this milk. The pain, the suffering, having to find children on Craigslist who won't tell their parents when an older gentleman asks them to get milk. 
you know. And I do like to say get milk, but that usually tips them off. I don't like that. But you know, day in day out, I suffer for this milk, and uh, despite the hardships I've had to suffer, despite the trouble with the law, breaking down the connection I had with my family, uh, my extreme lactose intolerance, of course. Uh, it's all worth it in the end. It's all worth it.